Oh, wow. 14 arrested at San Diego Comic-Con sex trafficking sting. What? Arrests in human trafficking sting at California's Comic-Con. Law enforcement officials in California said that they have arrested 14 people and recovered 10 victims during a human trafficking bust in the San Diego Comic-Con convention. The convention, which took place on the 25th of July to the 28th, is a comic book and culture that draws over 100,000 attendees. Comic-Con has been used by human traffickers to seek out potential victims. Like, I know at these events, you get, like, grooming and stuff like that, unfortunately. Like, like at these uh, at these kind of, like, events where you get, like, a lot of, like, kind of uh, nerdy types, you, you do get people that take advantage of people with lower confidence. And there's a lot of, like... Can we watch you throw cheap? Hang on, hang on, shut up for a sec. There, there, there's, like, a lot of, like, inappropriate touching and groping and stuff like that, but human trafficking is, like, that's another level. I started gambling at 13 from the whole Martin scandal. I'm now 21, still fighting it. That's really sad to him, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, because you were gambling at 13. Like, that's when your brain was forming as well. So you kind of built that connection with it. It's... Uh, or the, the only advice I can give is, like, it's much harder to unlearn something than to learn something. All right, sorry, Twink Cynical. What'd you say? Pyro, can we watch you throw cheeks on camera? I want to see that shit bounce in 4K Ultra HD. Windmill so hard that you levitate off the ground like Gojo when he fights Toby. What does windmill mean? Do this and my soul is yours. What does windmill mean? What does he mean by that? What is windmilling? Thank you, half for the 18. My grandparents and parents have played the weekly lottery and scratch cards for several decades. Never won anything substantial, but seeing this growing up made me aware that it's not worth it. Yeah, okay. So a good example is like, I do actually gamble. I, 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 yeah, I kind of realized how much I gamble. Hang on. So whenever I go to Sweden, right? Here, here it comes. Here it comes. Sweden story. I never buy scratch cards in the UK. Like, ever. But when I go to Sweden, uh, I do buy a lot of scratch cards. I'll probably buy... If I'm there in Sweden for, like, two weeks, I'll probably buy, like, five scratch cards. I'll, like, bulk buy them. And then I'll just scratch them in the car, like, while my girlfriend's driving. And I've never, I've never won, bro. I've never won. But I think it's because, like, I'm in a different country. It's, it's like, this isn't bad. This is, like, funny. You know, the worst thing is, as well, if, if I won, if I won, like, the lottery in Sweden from a scratch card, I couldn't even win it. Because I'm not a Swedish citizen. I'm not allowed to actually give the earnings. So I just, I'd basically just give all the earnings to my girlfriend, pretty much. And she can keep it. But yeah, it's it's like... Like, I still do it. I'll buy like five scratch cards if I'm staying in Sweden for a couple of weeks. And I'll do it. But it's like, I can't... I'm not going to be able to win any money. Which is so funny. But I still do it anyway. Uh, unfortunately, sex traffickers capitalize on large-scale events such as Comic-Con to exploit their victims for profit. These arrests send a clear message to potential offenders that the criminal behavior will not be tolerated. Police were focused on targeting sex buyers. Se Dude, imagine they had like a sex buyer stand. Recovering potential victims of sex trafficking as well as arresting traffickers. Officers worked undercover as sex buyers. Premium bonds, the only actual good gambling. It's a savings account that enters you into money giveaways every month. So the more you save, the more chance to win. Premium bonds is the only good gambling. I, I would not say good in gambling in the same sentence. That's a bit risky. Thank you, Connor, for the 50. $50. Thank you, bro. What did Captain Sparkles do? He's just talking about the Mr. Beast stuff. He's just giving a very balanced take on it. Thank you, Sid, for the 10. The glazing is insane. Actual endorsement of habit you previously denounced because it's in Sweden. Blatant. I never said it's okay. I just, I literally just said it's bad because I can't win anything from it. I just give the winnings to my girlfriend. I don't know. It's just, it's just bizarre. It's like, I'm not buying hundreds of them, by the way. I pick up like five every time I'm in Sweden. It's like, yeah, five. And then I'll scratch them in the back of the car. Like a little kid opening Pokemon cards. 14 sex buyers were arrested, 9 adult potential victims of sex trafficking were recovered and offered social services, as well as one 16-year-old. The operation was lauded by several local law enforcement agencies. San Diego Sheriff Kelly Martinez said, there's no, there's no more insidious crime than human trafficking. There's 27.6 million victims of human trafficking worldwide at any given time. Damn. So they basically did a sting and they caught like a bunch of people. Doing that in Comic-Con is wild though. Like trying to kidnap people. That's, that's terrifying. 
I think being a woman is like very, very scary, man. Oh, 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 oh,